How are you doing you guys? Welcome back! In this video we're gonna talk about the Blue Stardust Rift aka Blue Caldera. We're gonna focus on the best strategies specifically and try to build a team of only rare heroes that can beat the battle 20 on this rift. Unlike other RPG mobile games in Gems and Legends, you don't need to have all those legendary and epic heroes. You're gonna be just fine having rare and even uncommon heroes that are very easy to get. In the description of this video, you're gonna find more videos featuring the other Stardust Rifts. But let us focus on the Blue Caldera for the time being, where we obtain the Blue Stardust needed to awake the Blue Heroes. First of all, let's break through Blue Star Sisters and her totem's abilities to find a decent counterplay. This boss's special ability deals damage to all our heroes. Her passive ability grants her increased defense status for 6 turns at the start of each of her turn. One of her totem grants her immunity and the other removes all negative statuses affecting her. Blue Star Sister is the boss that has a lot of defense. One of the best strategies and the one we are going for in this video is to have heroes in our team that remove positive statuses from her to get rid of that annoying increased defense status that makes her extremely tanky. Now let's talk about specific heroes that are going to do great against this boss. We're gonna use only rare heroes with decent equipment and their abilities maxed out. Those heroes will become even stronger as we'll get the dust required for them to awaken. For those of you who might be not aware, the order of heroes is a big factor while playing on other battles. As you want to buff your damage dealers and debuff the enemy before casting special abilities of your damage dealers, so you're gonna simply do more damage. The roster we've decided to go with this time around is Centox, a support hero that we use for a little bit of healing and most importantly to buff our heroes with increased attack status. Almog, a strong orc that deals massive damage to a single target, inflicts decreased speed status and has 35% chance to use his ability twice. Double trouble! Yori, a very good single target damage dealer. Besides the huge amount of damage she deals, her special ability also removes up to two positive statuses affecting an enemy. Laptai, one of the top tier rare damage dealers. She ignores 20% death and she deals additional 20% damage to target with low HP. Pan, a uncommon hero you can summon even with the bronze scroll, a scroll of the lowest grade. Her special ability deals damage to a single target and ignores 20% death. She also has 30% chance to use her ability twice when fighting against one enemy. So it's not gonna be that useful on boss with totems, but she's a great he hero all around. We're using Amax Leader ability to grant our heroes a little bit of extra HP. When it comes to Dragon, Skyron is the best choice here due to the decreased speed status he inflicts. You can obviously use other rare heroes to beat this boss, but I think you get the idea of the components you need to beat Blue Star Sistel in Battle 20. In the description down below you're gonna find links to our other videos in which we use only rare heroes to beat the strongest bosses of the other Awake Rifts. In those videos you're gonna find more rare heroes that are going to do great against this boss, so make sure to check them out. And that's it for today, thanks for watching and see you around.